Toon's got his trailer hitch figured out, and I've got his wire made. Let's run over to his place and finish off his trailer. Uh, and we're here. I just got to attach this uh, cable. So his battery can go on the trailer. He's already drilled the uh, trailer hitch out. It wasn't big enough for that spot. So we just gotta take the end clip off here so we can put the trailer hitch through. Thread the wire through the trailer hitch and put the trailer hitch on. Fix this wire in place. And then we are done. Is that it or something? Oh, I forgot the crank tool. I found the crank tool put the pedal assist on and then I forgot it, but uh, let's go button this off and I'll be right back. Just gotta fix the brakes, adjust them, the cables all ran, e-bike works. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know why it's not it's got showing that. Speed controls and the power. because it's got the uh, twist throttle so there's no way to turn it off and on on the throttle side. There it is, we just got to adjust the brakes, put the cover on, test it out. I got to do something to stop the battery box from slipping. And it's done. I guess you guys already seen the solar panel. So I guess the plan is we are going to pack up someday soon and go on a little camping trip somewhere, get some beers. I got a little kettle for our inverters for coffee, but I'm going to try to get us a couple hot plates in case we are somewhere we can't have a fire. Slurring my speech because I'm tired today. But we're going to finish up these brakes, give her a little quick test ride. I really like the, the assist thing. Wish I brought the crane tool. I don't want to fight with that. You can usually get them off without a crank tool, but it's a pain to put it all up with it. But, uh, yeah. Hit record and the cover was still on. Seems to work good. Cool. So he's got the same battery as me, but he's got a weaker controller so it might not cut out. Looks like it's working good. I just heard the battery box shuffle. That is tuned on his new solar charging e bike. Yeah, we gotta get that battery box locked in. But let's show you how to hook up the inverter and charge it. Quick walk around the, the color matching thing. That was uh, kind of by accident. Didn't plan that out at all. I really do this kind of in real time, but with little edits. So we unfold the solar panel. Take the top off. And the first thing, we can turn the main power on, which is the battery power. And 
eventually that turns on detects the battery and then we can plug the solar panel in turn the solar panel on batteries weren't quite charged but they're getting there pretty quick Anytime that arrow is on, it means it's running power to the load. So it, I just think it charges on. faster if you just hit enter. It shuts the load off. So that we got that, and then we can take the inverter there, which is a 1000 watt max for a short burst and 500 watt max continuous. And we just plug the inverter into the batteries that are inside. So it should be at least 50, well, I'd say at least 30 amp hour batteries because they're a bit used. And then you can plug in your wall charger to the inverter and charge the 48 volt lithium pack, which we will be upgrading soon. Then we got a kettle, hot plates, we're gonna have radio lights, lots of stuff. It's going to be glamping on a solar e-bike, so stay tuned for the big adventure, subscribe, hit like, hit the bell, all that stuff, comment, tell me what you think, thanks for checking it out. One more last thing, we got some uh, quarter bead there for drywall, it should be strong enough to put strapping like on my trailer to stop the battery box from sliding. And then I thought I ran out of female ends. I have like 20 male ends and I couldn't find any female. And right before I left, I found a female. So the next time he comes out to my place, we're gonna cut the cord here and put another connector there so we can untouch it like mine. And then this pouch thing, we don't need a back rack if we just tie that up tighter. Oop, wasn't even showing it. That will tie up nice and tight and be out of the way. We'll be fine there. And then we're all done. Those last two little things. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it out of the video. So the next video should be uh, us camping both with uh, solar e-bikes and lots of power stuff. I think I might take an electric guitar, an amp, and all my foot pedals, wah, all that stuff. I can run an amp and all that stuff off my power unit out in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, stay tuned. And epoxy to finish the little port there. Had to stop and get some milkshakes on the ride home at the castle.